guys! Welcome back to the Stag Show. If you're unfamiliar with my channel, I am Stag, and here is the strange hole on the internet where I showcase the creation process of my creepy cute lowbrow and gothic fantasy art while rambling art stuff and talking shop. Today's video is titled Cosmic Prison. I had a lot of fun working on this painting, well mostly backache, but initially it was concepted alongside my last alien painting, Cosmic Dust. It just took me a wee bit longer to get around to finishing or starting this one, rather. This particular girl is part of an ongoing series I've been working on. It is currently on break as I feel I have explored it as much as I wanted to at the moment. The series is called Cosmic Witch, which features an array of four-eyed alien girls with emphasis on crystals and pyramids. I have other videos featuring these girls, as well as other alien species of sorts, so I'm not going to ramble too much about this because I feel like I've said it multiple times, it gets a little repetitive. Initially when I sketched out the first girl, I wanted to incorporate some kind of third eye, some type of a mystic ability, telekinesis, or something, something magical some type of planet that maybe has some other energy force or whatnot. However, I found myself entranced by the drop eyes of the ghosts I had been drawing and painting around that time, so somehow they ended up with a second set of eyes and an exchange of the kind of um third eye that I was probably gonna put on the forehead. I ended up going the crystal gemstone route. I really talk like this is this long, drawn-out thought process, but it was mostly absent-minded doodling and a 10-second process that ended up working itself out on the refining of the sketch. I would assume that the crystals act like an antenna of sorts, amplifying whatever telekinetic powers these girls might have in sync with their planet and whatever mysteries it has. I normally leave my paintings more up to your interpretation. I'm always told, well, asked if I have stories behind each painting, and I really don't. They are just deeply planted in the subconscious, and sometimes I can pick things out why I might have done something. I can psychoanalyze my paintings all day, but I prefer the viewer themselves analyze it for themselves, because everyone identifies with art in a different way. I'm not the type of person that really enjoys talking about myself at all, so when I have to explain a painting or why I do some things, I, I don't really like to. I guess I could kind of keep this non-personal wall up. But I will be quiet for a bit because I don't really have much more I want to talk about on this series. I feel like I've said most of what it all, like, all this chatter.
busy here the last month or so. It just feels like, um, at least with the holidays and just everything, I wanted to get more videos out and unfortunately it didn't seem to happen around mid-month. I had some time and I was able to time lapse a bunch of stuff down and work on that, but it's just, I wanted to do so much more before the end of the year and it just didn't happen. I wanted to do more with YouTube. I wanted, I had more projects I wanted to work on. I was going to do a alien girl spirit board, a Ouija board, if you will. Things I just didn't get around to this year. And of course next year I will have more coloring books. I would like to try to do the spirit board. Um, I look forward to learning, refining certain aspects of my art and uh, trying to get some maybe tutorials out there. I need to, I'm not a great teacher, I'm not great at words. To me, like, when I do things it's second nature and I, I just, I just do it. So it's like trying to explain it is kind of awkward. But anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. You can find prints of this painting on my website, lowbrownmisfits.com, as well as a medley of other art, paintings, stickers, pins, and more. This painting is sold. I no longer have any of the cosmic witch paintings left, but I do have a couple other alien paintings in the shop. You can also find me on my other social medias, I post most often to Instagram with new projects and paintings I'm currently working on, and you can find me streaming live on Twitch some nights. You as well can find my coloring book series on Amazon, Misfits, a coloring book for adults and odd children, and you can find these links below in the description. I hope you all have a pleasant New Year's. Bye!